Big changes in the Mevo Multicam app as Mevo has dropped an addition to their lineup of software, the Mevo Go Beta program. It is a free beta, but their disclaimer on the Mevo customer group says the official release of Mevo Go will be a paid feature. Details on the official launch date and price will be published in the near future. And because they built the iOS version of it on the foundation of the Mevo Mic app. It is still called Mevo Mic in that downloadable, but as you open it, it says Mevo Go. That's just a, a small uh, distinction to make. Now, it's going to open up the possibility for us to do, uh, as Ed Quinine said, uh, instant replay because we can use it to, uh, to show the YouTube version of, of, the, of what, we've, what we are streaming. We can back it up for what we want it to, run an instant replay through. We can use it for presentations. Load up your presentation on the iOS or Android device and, and show your presentation into Multicam. You're going to be able to use it, obviously, as pre-roll, as local video on your uh, device in your live stream. You're going to be able to use it for announcements and for advertisements, for sponsorships, all those things that, that, that we hope we are going to have access to because of what Mevo is doing with the Mevo Go beta app. First, we'll set up our cameras in Mevo Multicam. So let's go to add one, make sure of what network we are connected to. That is where I need to be. I can see on this network, I have both one Mevo Start and one Mevo Go device. So let's go ahead and connect to both of those and we'll move forward from there. So let's connect to the Mevo Start. Oh, that's fine. I was apparently an NDI on that one. And then let's go ahead and connect to the Mevo Go app as well. I'm going to kill audio on everything but the iPad so that I know what I'm looking at here. Continue. And now I can see that on my phone, my iPhone 13 Pro Max here, I am zoomed in three times, apparently. So let me make an adjustment there. And that looks a little bit more like what I'm used to seeing. So I have in this particular pane, the Mevo Go app on my iPro <laughs> on my iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I have in this one the Mevo Start that is to my left here. It's just on a tripod, and it's going to be my side shot so that we have an opposing view, and we can see how all this works together. Now, that's two cameras, one Mevo Start, one uh, Mevo Go app uh, iPhone. Mevo to my left, Mevo to my far left, and you can see that I do have three cameras running into, into this multicam stream. <clears throat> excuse me, multicam recording, so that I have a mix of different kinds of cameras. Mevo Start, Mevo Start, iPhone as an input to Mevo Multicam. It only works with Multicam. It doesn't work with the single cam app, but this is an incredible addition because it's not only going to be just a camera added to it, but I can also choose that camera to be my picture-in-picture. -picture. So as you can see on this side of the screen, I'm running, I'm running picture in picture with a front facing shot and that one over there. And it can be whatever picture in picture is used for. However you use it, that's a fully featured camera coming in. Now, they do have some bugs with audio. I'm not going to deal with those yet because it's a beta uh, release. And so bugs are bugs. And we just have to know that that's the case. This is just showing the possibility of the features that they've come with in Mevo Multicam. And i got to be honest with you. This is incredible getting ready for baseball season, basketball season and baseball season. I can set up a couple of Mevos, a couple of cameras. I've got a four camera stream and some of those cameras can zoom. That's right. The iPhones that we bring in or the Androids that we bring in, if they have the capability in their camera system to zoom in with different lenses, they're making use of those. I asked that question as soon as it was released this afternoon, and the answer came back pretty quick. Yes, we are using the built-in cameras. If they have a 2x or a 3x zoom, you will be optically zooming into, and then you can still crop past that if you have access to the, uh, to the app and want to pinch in even a little bit further. So it's going to give you not only zoom through its lenses, it's going to give you manual focus control if you want it, 
You can set it to auto. You can set it to manual, and it will step through focus steps. You can set the exposure control. You can add to or take away exposure. You can turn the microphone on and off, obviously. You can cycle through your lenses. And then you have some settings that's going to allow you to use your flash as a tally light if you want to. It's going to let you name the camera if you want to. So even though it's a, a beta release that they're just now wanting to get testing feedback on, they already have some incredible features built in to the addition of Mevo Go into the Multicam app. So let's get off of that shot with the iPhone. I'm going to back out of using the iPhone as, whoop, as audio and video. We'll tap, let's see if I can show you here. There it is. We'll tap end session. Yes, I am sure. All right, and here's my choices. Uh, stop. So we also have screen share and the legacy Mevo mic app. Let's go into screen share. Continue. Screen share capture right from the app, it says. I'm going to screen share capture Mevo Go. Everything will be, okay. Start broadcast in 3, 2, 1. All right, we should be screen sharing everything that we've got going on here. So let's let's see if it will uh, it reconnects to that particular device automatically. Now, obviously, it's in portrait mode right now. I'm going to open up a video file and rotate that sideways, and it will fill the screen. I can tap so that I don't have the. And that goes away from the screen as well. And then I can play remote video from a device as one of my inputs. I'll just set this over to the side. I'll let that video play. That is not me right now. I should have picked a video that didn't have the same shirt on or close enough to the same shirt. Let's see if we can choose a little bit different video. Let's see if we can choose a little bit different video and, and maybe have uh, a, a, a noticeable difference here. Okay, so now I have my shot here, Mevo Start. I have a shot down here, Mevo Start as well. And I have my iPhone file share. Here is us getting the opportunity to run video roll, pre-service, in between innings, advertisements, announcements, those kinds of things come into our stream if they're loaded on our iPhone. We're loading them up here. Let's see what the sound sounds like. And there's the sound bug we were talking about earlier. Whenever I allow sound to come through that video file, they don't have that just worked out yet. So you hear that static over a pre-roll. They'll get that fixed. This is the first release to the public for, for or, or to invitation for the beta version of the Mevo Go app. Uh, we expect there'll be some things that don't work exactly right yet, but as they get those worked out, man, this is feature rich. It's going to be something that's incredibly beneficial to our live streams. It's, it's what we've been clamoring for. Now, yes, I know a lot of folks want it in Mevo Start, want it in Mevo App, want it in Mevo Multicam Native without having to bring a different kind of device in. I get that, but I'll take it. I'll take the ability to run video, to have an extra camera that I can use a 2X, 3X built-in zoom on that camera, optical zoom. It's going to give all of those features um, if I'm willing to run one of my iPhones up there. If I'm willing to one, if I'm willing to run one of my devices, uh, hang it on the fence, mount it above the dugout, put it put it uh, over at the side of the church, and 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 hit my the three X on it so that I've, so that I'm zoomed in a little bit further uh, with an optical zoom. These features are incredible. If you'd like to test the Mevo Go beta app, go on over to Facebook's Mevo customer group and sign up for it. It's been posted in the, in the section. It's a private group, but you can join there. That's no problem. Be sure you're going through the Facebook group in order to get your download link.